Hello everybody, welcome to English lesson two of week one. So last lesson we started our look into uh, magazines, what makes a magazine entertaining, what, why we read magazines, just a, 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 we started our first step into magazines. Today we're actually starting to work on our own magazine. So hopefully by the end of the term, we've got enough pieces to print out and put together our own magazine. Um, for all of this to happen, we're going to need to draft all of our work into our workbook first so that we have our first preparation because the first time we do something is the worst time we do something. So we haven't done the first time, the worst time, and then we start to slowly make it better. We might look at it and say, it might look better if I change this word or if I make this a longer sentence, I can actually add a couple of extra things that I want to talk about in this part. That's called editing. So if the first time we do it is the worst time, every time we just make it a little bit better, a little bit better, and a little bit better. So today, we're going to have a look at our magazine covers. This is going to be the first part. Again, we're starting in our workbook. Then by the end of um, the first couple, like we're going to make it a little bit better each time. Towards the end of the term, we're going to work on designing our final edition of our magazine cover along with the, reg the rest of the pieces of our magazine. So today, new heading in our book or wherever we're working, magazine covers. We're going to start with these two questions. So we're going to have a look at some magazine covers as we go through. I want you guys to write these two questions in your book. So please pause the video, write these two questions in your book and unpause the video when you're done. So I'm hoping that you're finished doing that and we're going to move on. The first question says, what makes a magazine cover catch your attention? We're going to answer these questions at the end. So not right now, but what makes a magazine cover catch your attention? We're going to have a look at a couple of different things. And what makes a reader want to read a magazine? So we're essentially looking at what, what about the magazine catches our attention and then what makes us want to read through the magazine. I've gone through and just found some covers of some different magazines and we're just going to have a bit of a discussion about them. So we're not going to answer these questions yet, but some of the things that we're going to talk about will come into answering these questions. So here we've got, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Here we've got a National Geographic Kids Edition. Let's have a look at some of the things that it's got on the front. So it's a special super smart. It's written nice and big. Clever foxes, brilliant birds, and other animal geniuses. It's got this to catch our attention because we might be saying, what do they mean, animal geniuses? What do you think an animal genius could be? Just having this on the cover makes us think, oh, that's really interesting. One of the biggest things is we can see this really big fox. So first they've chosen a fox because it's a bit of a cuter animal. It's not a big, scary animal. It's not, you know, something that might scare some viewers. It's a bit of a cute animal. It's a nice, pretty orange color with some white. Behind that, we can see the green of the background alongside this bright blue. So the three big colors of blue, green, and orange stand out a lot with this big, bright yellow background covering all of it. As we look in a little bit closer, we can see here it says weird but true. So people might be looking at, oh, what's weird and what's true? Then as we come a bit closer, I'm going to zoom in so that we can see these details. There's something about a tiny cat, 10 brainy questions and a personality quiz. To see if these things stand out to you, then you might want to pick up the magazine and give it a read through. The barcode is just there because they have to scan it so they can charge money for it. So when we're looking at this, our big features are the colors, the catchy headlines the yellow background and the interesting stories also the cute animal now for this one i want you to do a small list pause the video write a bit of a list just on the side of your page um, under the topic holidays with kids and then tell me what things stick out to you that catch your attention pause the video three two one hopefully you've done that so now what are some things that catch our attention with this one? First, we've got the bright blue background with the strong pink on top. So it's not 
some people might say that in marketing, pink is for girls. And it's not just for girls because we've got the blue background. So blue is for boys, pink is for girls, even though it's not really true. But it makes sure that it um, tries to attract both different um, like types of people. Next, we've got the heading, which is one of the most interesting things to kids. Holidays. Holidays with kids. As we go through our headings, we've got things like Save the Turtles, Angkor Wat. We, not a lot of people might know about Angkor Wat, but it is a place, a holiday destination. The, oh, the cute factor, Australia's adorable baby animals, the world's coolest candy stores. So the headings are all things that might attract a viewer to a reader to have a look at different things they might do on holidays. And we finish up with this picture of a girl in the background. And it's not just a picture of a girl. It's meant to make the readers think that, oh, well, she's having fun, then I might have fun in the places that they're talking about. And the one other really important thing that grabs a lot of people's attention, the big lollipop in the background. I don't know about you guys, but I love lollies. <laughs> And before we move on, we've got the win, a family holiday to New Zealand. Here's another National Geographic magazine. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Same deal. I'm going to ask you guys to pause the video and tell me what you can see in here that would catch people's attention. So as we look at this one, we've got it's not just a really big green frog, but it's a bit of a funny looking frog because it looks like he has a big smile on his face. The bottom, so the bumper bottom busting fun stuff. Hop in how frogs rule the rainforest. So a heading that makes people think, oh, that's really interesting. Here we've got the dino expert, sun bear rescue and history's greatest hits. And for those of you that might, for looking at what young people might look at, this character here even looks like um, the character from the cartoon, Avatar The Last Airbender. So they might be trying to attract people with that. And again, coming in with our bright colors, we've got purple, green, and our bright yellow background that should stick out behind every other magazine cover. Another National Geographic one. This time, while the background isn't, as eye catching because it is black here and it's the gray and white and kind of brown um, cat here. It's the bright blue that is meant, uh, making everything in the background pop. So it's always a bit of color that makes it stand out a little bit more. Now here we've got a magazine that's aimed at typically girls because the magazine is called girls world. Now this isn't the best quality so look look into your future with our horoscope um, when we're looking at the colors it's a bright pink color that's meant to stand out a lot and this is the friendship special with Jules LeBlanc and Jaden Bartels um, they I don't know who they are but they might be famous people that um, people might know um, here we've got a bit of an advertisement for the Masked Singer. Bake chocolate donuts and make your own scrunchie. So they've got some things here that are meant to attract and grab the reader's attention. And here we've got a kids fashion magazine. So while it's not as bright as our other magazines, it's still got a color that stands out, but it's trying to stand out in a more sort of grown up, sophisticated way. Um, what looks weird here is the lady's wearing one of those face masks. So it's meant to give people some, you know, it's meant to make people see something that looks really different, her face mask. And it's um, also to the people that know, it shows them, okay, this might give me ideas about how I can take care of my skin and moisturize my face. Uh, this is, okay, I, I paused for a second. I got a bit scared. I thought I cannot read what this is saying. It's in French, and I'm sure that the headings are catchy. Um, if you can read French, all power to you. Okay. Now, I'm going to... Oh, I already did that. 
we're going to undo that then. <laughs> so with these magazines, I want you to have a look at them and answer the question of what makes a magazine interesting and why would you choose to read one magazine over another? So pause the video, come back and answer these, oh, sorry, pause the video and answer these questions. Now when you're, now I'm guessing that you've all paused the video and finished with that. So what makes a magazine interesting? What makes it stand out to the viewers, to the readers? We're looking at the colors, the pictures, they might be cool, cute, interesting. They might make us want to see what it's like when we're there. Um, we've got the headlines for the stories. We've got prize giveaways. Um, these are the things that stand out to me. Hopefully you guys have found a couple more. And why would you choose to read one magazine over the color? Something caught your eye. You might be walking through and see that smiley green frog and think, I like that. I want to see what, what they're talking about. It might be the color that stands out, the bright yellow of the National Geographic in the background. Um, you might like the topic. You might want to read the fashion magazine because you love fashion. These are two ideas. Hopefully you guys have some others. Now here's where we move on to our own topic, our own magazine cover. So choose a topic you enjoy and it can be any topic, any topic that so long as it's an appropriate topic, nothing, you know, rude or gross. You need to, develop a cover for your magazine. So that means you're going to, on a separate piece of paper, plan and draw up your own magazine cover. Now, before anyone says, oh, but Mr. Hosni, I can't draw. Don't worry. Still, hands down, the worst drawer in all, sorry about that, the worst illustrator, the worst person that cannot draw, the worst one in all of Sydney, Australia, that's me. Yours will 100% turn out better than mine, so do not stress. Now you're gonna develop a cover for your magazine. So you will make a magazine that, and you will make your own cover. So you will need a name for the magazine. Now, if you're making a boxing magazine, you're not gonna call it, you know, Pretty Fairies. Your name will be something that links up to the topic you're talking about. So if you do name a magazine Pretty Fairies, it would be something that has a lot of Pretty Fairies in it. But if you're making a boxing magazine, you might name it Boxing Gloves or something interesting like that. You will need to write a headline for a story. You don't have to write the, uh, the whole story, just a headline. And you need a picture or a couple of pictures that will make your magazine cover entertaining. So pause the video. Go work on your magazine cover. And when you come back, we're going to move on to the next part of our lesson. So here's hoping that you've paused the video, you've done your magazine cover and you've uploaded it to the Google Classroom. Now in your book, you must answer the following questions. So first for your magazine, why did you choose this topic? What topic did you choose and why? Here's where there's no wrong answers. I just want to know, what made your topic interesting to you? Why did you design the cover in this way? Why did you pick those colors? Why did you pick these pictures? And why did you pick this headline? And the last question, what did read, what readers did you hope would read your magazine? Were you looking for old people, young people, married people, people that aren't married? People that love boxing, people that love cats, people that hate cats, people that want dogs, people that love guinea pigs, Rabbitohs fans. <laughs> what kind of people were you hoping would want to pick up and read your magazine? So once you've done that, I'd love to see all of your work, your questions and answers, your magazine cover uploaded to the Google Classroom. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon.